Hello dear ones, this is Alice. Here is just a little information about the law of karma, the lords of karma, and the curse of the ancient enemy. Now it used to be true that there was a book of karma and that we could determine the appropriate uh, judicial uh, action of our soul by consulting it. I would like to explain that the Book of Karma belonged to the demon hordes. And by consulting it, we offer our service to them. When the shift occurred, the Book of Karma ceased to be valid. And every year since then has become less and less a possibility to predict future actions from the, from the Book of Karma. Why? Because karma is unraveling. The causal world is disappearing and what will remain is the synchronous reality of the now. All right. So those that continue to consult the Book of Karma take their stand against the light of the now. And they will pay for that with suffering. And when they grow tired of suffering, they will be most welcome to join those who have accepted love and light as their reality. Right? So this is free will. To decide to suffer, to continue to suffer, or to, to just choose the side of love and light and joy. We have those choices always. I know there's a lot of fear in amongst humankind right now. Fear of change. And I always say when people ask, how much time do I have? Have I been disqualified? I always say, no one is disqualified. And the moment that you des desire to seek the light, you will find the light. For the universe is nothing but that. The moment you decide to turn to your true self, your true self will be revealed to you. So there is nothing to fear. But there is a price to pay for not turning. And that price is slowly increasing suffering until we, we recognize where ease of soul is. So, that was on the law of karma. I should add for the lords of karma, there has been a job position in 3D reality for spiritual adepts known as, this, this, uh, that is for spiritual adepts, and this job uh, category is known as the Lords of Karma. We may have discussed this in previous blogs, I'm not sure. <sighs> it was a wonderful job. It entailed a lot of responsibility. It involved interaction, not just with the dark, but also with Archangel Michael and the Angelic Leagues. That job is ended now. And those who held that job, let them look, let them search in their own hearts for their newest soul missions. Now on to the curse of the ancient enemy. I've been hearing on the astral planes these days some stories of folks who consult the, uh, the law of karma and find there written the story of the curse of the ancient enemy. All right. One of the primary themes there is the, um, is the betrayal of Jesus Christ and Christ consciousness by Judas Iscariot and uh, the desire for wealth, desire for financial security, and the desire for safety. All right, and this story is being played out big time right now. Because of this time of change, the shift, the ascension process, a lot of people are feeling not safe. 
And so for security, we look for money. We look to money to protect us. This is very understandable. But in truth, there is no protection and no security aside from our own hearts in this upcoming reality that is manifesting right now. We must feel our hearts. We must feel appreciation and gratitude in our, in our hearts every moment of every day to surf these tides. Still, it doesn't hurt to have a little money. But on the other hand, let us not, let us not move from the realm of Christ consciousness into the realm of Judas Iscariot. Let us maintain heart consciousness and love as we also seek the blessing of abundance. So, so now, over the ages, since before the time of Christ, there has been karma of betrayal of higher principles on behalf of hope of safety on earth. And many, many of us, I would say, probably all of us now hold karma of betrayal of the Judas Iscariot mental filter. If you find yourself betrayed in this, in this reality right now, or in the role of, of betraying someone that, 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 um, that you consider to be your ancient enemy, I, I encourage you to let that story go. Let that whole timeline go and walk into another timeline. Forgive, forgive yourself for playing that role of betrayer or betrayed and walk into the light. Just fold that whole, that whole consciousness back into the light. There's no percentage in it anymore. There's no need to have an ancient enemy. There's no need to consult the book of the law of karma. And there's no need to oversee this process because the process itself has changed and the timelines are, are ultimately malleable at this point. We can move wherever we want. We can be whatever we want. So, that's just my thought about it. Why bother with the painful stuff? Y'all take care. Love you a lot. Bye-bye.